You know, I uh, oftentimes get asked to be a motivational speaker or I read about people who are looking for motivational speakers. I had an experience uh, not too long ago where I was asked to come and speak to a group of people where I walked in and I met with about 50 managers. One of them came up to me and said, so you're the topic du jour or the consultant du jour. And I said, well, what do you mean by that? And he said, well, every year management brings in a new consultant to give us a new motivational topic on which to work. I said, okay, well, how's that go for you? And he said, it's interesting because it's really exciting the first day. And by day two, it's starting to wane, but by the end of the week, it's completely gone. Everything's back to normal. And then we get confused because we're being taught or told things using their vernacular but it's now four and five layers deep of different people. So we really don't know what to make of it. Motivation by nature has a shelf life of about 72 hours. And as a matter of fact, according to statistics, on the assumption that I went to a motivational speaker and I took copious notes, within five days time, despite the fact that I took copious notes, I will have lost 98% of everything that I heard. Motivation is a temporary process. Transformation, however, is completely different. In order to get to a transformational position, someone changes from the inside out. On a motivational, it's often outside in. Let me explain it in terms of what's called teach versus tell. When motivational speakers talk, they tell you what they're thinking. They transfer data to you. Telling is a monologue. It's one way. So what's the difference between teach and tell? Well, first of all, teach is a dialogue. It's two ways. And when someone learns how to teach, the transfer of data to the other people is lifetime. It's permanent. So let's take this a little bit further. What does it mean to teach? Now keep in mind, let's go to the antithesis. We're often very good at telling people what to do. We want them to do X or we want them to do Y. It's my idea, please do this. But in teaching, it's completely different. It's the opposite. Teaching is where you delegate learning to the student where learning is the process of self-discovery. Who's the one then doing the learning? So if I'm teaching, as a leader, if I'm teaching, I'm delegating down to the lowest common possible denominator. They then are able to articulate that on their own. When they learn it, that's inside out. But if I'm telling them, that's outside in. The ability to teach becomes transformational. When you teach, you become the epitome of a leader because people want to be in your space. They want to follow you. If you're a leader or think you're a leader and no one's following you because you spend your day telling people what to do, you're just taking a walk. So let's review what we've got real quick. In order to get transformational, we have to learn to teach. Teaching is the process of delegating to the student where learning, delegating learning to the student, where learning is the process of self-discovery. When they discover who they are, what it is, what they want to learn, they then can also discover what we call their unique ability or their passion. A leader's job is to maximize the performance of his or her employees or direct reports, not to manage objects. You don't, you don't become a leader because you have a title. The card says supervisor. You become a leader when people want to follow you because you have safe space, because you've developed mutual trust and respect. And having your employees understand their passions, their unique abilities, is going to maximize the performance. Employees become more engaged. Performance improves because from inside out, they are motivated. That's a leader, and that's teach versus tell.